is very graceful to come here today, and he wants to say a few words. Thank you. First of all, happy. working with other people, and if it meant working across the aisle with Democrats to do the best thing for the people of Weymouth and of his district, he would do exactly that. So, when you find someone like Bob Hedlund, who is willing, who is smart, he is dedicated, he's willing to work on behalf of the people, he looks at the issues as they, as they come, he's driven by all the right, all the right emotions and, and uh, uh, instincts. When you have someone like Bob Hedlund who works as hard as he does on behalf of his constituents, I think it's incumbent on us all to support him and to help him do his job. Uh, he's been an honorable man and like I said, we go back at least 25 years. He's always been very, very dedicated. Uh, in the legislature, he was one of those people who would actually read the bills before he took a position on it. And uh, he's also a man of the people. And uh, very approachable, which I think will help him a lot in his new job as mayor. So like all of you, I'm here tonight just to wish Bob the best of luck. We both work for the people of Weymouth now. Uh, and, and I'm happy to have him as, as my partner. Smart. 
And we have a whole bunch of school committee members. Uh, Kathy Curran. Oh, Becky Howe, salute for a minute. Becky Hall, Will Flamin. Um, uh, school committee member Gail Sheen. Who else? Anyone I'm forgetting, I apologize. When I set up to do this and decided to run, uh, I am blown away with the outpouring and support we had, the volunteers, the people that made it happen. Without their efforts, I wouldn't be standing here tonight. And the campaign was run flawlessly. A lot of the same people who worked on the campaign once the election was over said, okay, what are we going to do about an inaugural party? And I said, I really don't want to have an inaugural party. After a lengthy time in the State House, I'm kind of tired with all the pomp and circumstance stuff. I'm just looking forward to getting to work. I know there's a lot of challenges here in Weymouth that are going to require a lot of effort and attention. And I don't want to really want to spend time out of the gate setting up a party. So they said, no, you have to do it. You have to do it. And I recall um, when Mayor Madden, who's here tonight, and I want to recognize him, who did a tremendous job and had a, an event at the State House. And Mayor Kay, when she came in eight years ago, had an event at the Quincy Marriott. Said, I'm, it was fun as an attendee, but I don't want to have to have the pressure of being the guy involved in the show. They said, no, you have to have an event, you have to have an event. They said, okay, fine, let's do something, but I want to do it in Weymouth. So that limited our options. They said, I want to keep it somewhat casual for everybody, and I don't want to have to go out and, and raise too much money to do it, so let's keep keep it simple and keep the price down. And if there's money left over, let's contribute it to some of the way we do sports activities. So, the committee kind of organically emerged, and they didn't tell me one detail of anything until literally this afternoon. And I heard some issues about parking, and I made a couple of calls today, and they said, it's none of your business. <laughs> So I really didn't know what went into the planning, I just know a lot of work did. And the folks in the community like Krista Mambro and, and some of the other sponsors uh, did a tremendous job stepping up to make it happen. And I'm honored by your presence. I hope that you're having a good time. So I'll try to limit it because if I was out there, I'd rather be socializing than listen to me. And I think we have some performers or something. We've got Joe O'Malley that will take your requests. But we've been at the job now um, for five days. We had an incredible uh, swearing-in ceremony. I don't know if you were all there, who was, here, who was there. But I wasn't too amped up for that and excited for that. I was thinking more about the job at hand. And I was really excited with the event on Monday evening to get sworn in with my fellow count with my counselors and uh, colleagues on the school committee. And that was a tremendous, tremendous event. So that caught me a little bit of enthused about tonight. But we've been on the job now for five days. I mentioned in the swearing in, I appreciate the efforts that Mayor Kay uh, provided in, in working with us on the transition, which was very helpful. I want to thank the staff at Town Hall and department heads and employees that are here tonight that welcomed us. We have a couple of people that have started with me. My chief of staff, Ted Langell, is over here. Our new town council, Joe Callahan. And our CFO, who hasn't started yet, Michelle Small. And they're all three people who started in state government in my office.